what is going on girls and guys on YouTube so I had to redo my computer again so if you wait till a minute I'm going to do an unboxing of this package right here from Amazon so what happened was I accidentally put 32 bit of Windows 10 on my computer and it messed up what it messed with some kind of program and it caused me to lose all of my stuff what happened was, is I was in the middle of doing a YouTube video and popped up air message saying I need to restart my computer. I was like, oh my goodness, what now? And restarted it. Then it said, we need to re-get your information back. Basically, it lost all my stuff. And I'd done this once on my old gaming PC over there. It trying to get all of your memory back and stuff, and it could not do it. And I had to waste a whole day for it to do that. So... In front of me, I have I have three of these USBs right here. Three. Hold on. Three. Now, and here's the third one right here. Okay. Hold on. Here's this. <laughs> Hold on. I'm sorry about that. Um. Anyways, there. Here's all three. Now, two of these had Windows 10 on them. Now, I'm going to go ahead and find it right now. Um, and I have marked these in the past with permanent marker, all of it, and it still comes off. Okay, now, this one right here is my, it has, it's a 32. That's how big the USB is. This is a 16. This has 32-bit windows on it. This has 64-bit windows 10 on it. I mixed these up by accident. I thought this was my 64 and this was my 32. Did not, I thought since the computer booted up and everything and everything was working right, that I was right. I didn't even go in there and check it like I was supposed to and stuff like that. It made me really upset and that was my thought. And I'm going to own that. I mean, and I'm sorry about that. Now, I did redo it. Don't worry. Hold on. Just for y'all to see, I, got, I worked all last night getting everything back over here and stuff like that. And... And YouTube and um, Steam is still working on getting a lot of my games back. I just made a whole big list of games I wanted, I wanted, and then just left them to download. And then I went back and downloaded like my OBS, um, MSI Afterburner, all those kind of programs. So what we got here is a big package, and you're waiting to see what's in this package. I know. And for the girls and guys who waited to open this, thank you so much. I just wanted to get that out of the way where well, you know why my computer and everything looks differently. Now, we're going to start just doing these little packages over uh, here instead of um, instead of over there on the um, table. Now, y'all ready? One, two, three. Yes, this is the new Xbox X Windows 10 Blue Controller. Now, I am going to open this up and stuff like that. So, let me go ahead and see. And it better be in here. I'm hoping it is. And if it ain't, y'all seen me all of this. So, this is proof right here. Okay, I got to figure out how. Like, okay, there's some tape right there. I'm only using scissors right now. Yes. Um, if I was to get like a huge package, like stuff that like when you get like order a motherboard and stuff like that. And they come in these huge packages and stuff. I do it over there on that table. Okay. Oh my goodness. This thing looks more nicer than I ever thought. It looks beautiful. Tell me what y'all think. Here's the back. Now, we are actually going to be modding this controller. Now, I do have actually some bad news. And there's a reason why I didn't. And I'm going to go into that right now. Just give me one minute and I'll show you. Or one second. This controller. As y'all remember, it was broke right here in the front. Now, I fixed it. The reason I didn't record it, it was my first time opening this. And that kit I had that had this one piece, you're supposed to take it and pry it up right here on these. It broke. So I ended up having to use the little um, pick one, the little plastic pick one it came with. Then what I did was, is once I started getting it up just a tiny bit, I took a um, little blade screwdriver that I had and then twist and popped it all the way open but 
everything works. Okay, and a little tip. This little middle piece right here, piece right here, all of it comes apart. So take this apart right here. It comes apart a certain way. If y'all want me to show y'all real quick, I will on the um, extra spare I bought with that kit. It comes with two. So let's go back to this controller. I like it. I like it. Blue and white. I like this. Plans. I'm going to do a few custom mods to it. Like the very first one I want to do is my control sticks. I want to be able to make them magnetic like this. You know what I mean? And I also want to kind of upscale my, like make my D-pad a little bit more like this where I can change it out. If I can on this newer one. If I cannot, hold on, hold on, I got to back up. If I can't do no custom mods to this one, we will go with this red one. And we'll do the mods to it. Sorry about that. That was my cell phone. She thought I said Google. Okay, didn't come on. But I love the, how this controller looks. I like how it feels. Like, okay, I can get used to that D-pad now. And I got another. Oh, I don't know why I'm grabbing for that box. It's right over here. And I got some good news. The best thing is it comes with batteries. And I can actually do this wirelessly for a little bit. Now, here's the good news. When I get Resident Evil 8, I'm not going to be play, playing it on my computer monitor over here. I'm going to be playing it up on my 4K TV. Because when I watched the demo of Resident Evil um, 8, oh my goodness, it looks so nice and so detailed. It just made me want them to go back and remake Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil... Um, like, they're already making Resident Evil 4. What about Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 6? We make all of them with this engine because it looks so good. If you go watch them play the demo of Resident Evil 8 on the PlayStation 5, it's only out on the PlayStation 5. I wish they had put it on the PC and PlayStation 4 as well for us because it looked incredibly nice. I understand if they did that for only a limited time that the people that bought the new PlayStation got it first. But I just hope they release it on all stuff. And now I can't find my scissors. Oh, right there. Now, I'm going to get those batteries out here in a minute. I should have gotten a cord, I'm hoping, with this. If I didn't, it's okay. I mean, I, this is my very first new Xbox controller. I usually buy them used. This is how... Well, oh my goodness. I got a free Xbox um, thing as well. Hmm... Hmm. I tell y'all what. Who wants this? I will be putting this somewhere in the video. Now this is just the very first half of the video. So I'll be putting this somewhere up in the video. It's Xbox Game Pass. I don't want it. I played it for a little bit. I liked a few games, but it just didn't see like it was enough games for me to stay on there. I may try again by this summer but I just don't want I mean what is going on girls and guys just let me pick up my mic where y'all can hear me a little bit better basically what I did was I took the feet and folded them inward now I'm holding the microphone the snowball microphone like it was an actual mic you sing into so today we're gonna be benchmarking my computer we are gonna be doing these in steps we're gonna go 1080p 1440p 4k so, I hope you enjoy these videos. We are not going to be doing synthetic benchmarks because I always saw that a game is usually a lot better than the synthetic benchmark shows you. And they're kind of a little bit um, not as on target as gaming. Playing the game for real, basically. So, we are going to start off with an oldie but a goodie. And this um, game has a lot of um, memories for me. And... We're gonna we're using the new Xbox controller that you will see at the beginning of this video that I did a review on. Okay, so in this tour of mind y'all, we um are going to be doing a Xbox Game Pass giveaway card that I got with the controller. I don't know how many how long you get it for. Um, I'm just gonna give that away. I don't really want Xbox Game Pass. It's if it gets more games in that I want to play, like, there's a couple of games I see that, hold on, there we 
go. Sorry about that. My TV. Um, this is a TCLC series. Um, C series TV. TCLC series. They are great TVs. This one actually has a built-in sound bar. That's what you just heard. And I love this TV. Thank you so much, um, TCL, for making TVs. Because, honestly, I had an LG TV that we were actually doing a, um, like, you go there and you like, buying it out or whatever you want to call it. And I, I didn't like that TV. I didn't like the interface. I didn't like nothing about it. But this TV, I really like it. Just to show y'all that we are in 1080p. I know I'm playing 4K right now. Nope, I'm in 1080. Okay, so right now I'm in 1080. I thought I didn't change it, but I did. So, that's how we're playing right now. And then, what I would do is I will play. We're going to go ahead and just do, um, we're going to do about five games. And two of them are Resident Evil games. And the reason I'm going to let y'all see this part. Um, and Resident Evil Zero was actually the very first Resident Evil game I got. My dad actually said I wouldn't like the game. Thirty frames per second right now. Wow, it's really pushing it. <laughs> I didn't. I thought it would do a little bit better. And this is an RX 5700 XT graphics card, and I'm only getting thirty frames per se well. Yeah, it makes sense because I'm recording with OBS. Don't forget, that takes a little bit of power too. So, it's doing actually better than I thought it would. Because I'm actually doing recording as well. So, it ain't too accurate. But, I don't really have another computer that I can use to record this way. And, I know what you're thinking. Why don't you just use your gaming, your movie PC and put OBS on there and just use a capture card, right? Problem is, what my gaming computer right now is, I'm wanting to do a redo on it, like redo the whole thing. If y'all want me to show y'all that, please tell me in the comments. But but here's the thing. When I got the, um, what happened to that motherboard? A couple of things did happen. I'm going to stop right now because they're talking.
And I also wish they would do like a remake on Resident Evil Zero. I know they just came out with one recently, but I'd love to do the over camera view, like how they did on Resident Evil 2. Because I, you know, the fixed camera thing, I don't really like it too much, but it's okay. I just would like to see it from different angles, like the train to be able to see it from different angles, like more detail into it. And this I. Is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo Troop. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? Uh, basically, start with him always and then turn yourself around. What just happened? I, I thought they were dead. Basically, how I knew where they were is you you're in an aisle. You can't really go nowhere, and there's a pretty good percentage of that bullet actually hitting them, even though you cannot see them. Um. Now, this game, I can already tell you right out, it looks a lot more better than um, my GameCube version of it. And it's back up to 60 frames per second. So, the video, like, how it was, like, playing, like, a, kind of like a movie, I guess was just taking more of the, um, I think that, like, um, basically the graphics card was having to work a little bit more harder. And here's the thing, I'm not going to play the whole video again. In 4K because nobody really would like that. You know what I mean? You see the video. You don't want to keep repeating it from 1440p 4K. Billy. Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? You were the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around, so I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! No thanks, dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. Okay, and I have actually have an idea for um, Billy, um, him right there, the character. I'm going to go ahead and play through this a little bit more. i get to this one part here in a second. I do kind of want to start playing this. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in here real quick and just do a quick save. I don't have to do that all over again. And here's the thing. I am going to be playing the very first one with Chris Redfield and before this one. And then play this one. I will play them all in order. But I would like to see this one get a revamp treatment. Um, change a few things that um, they really do need to change which are in this um, and here's another thing how they can do but Billy Cohen is basically do this make it to where his he was sick as a child parents actually worked for umbrella and this is when Wesker comes into the picture Wesker was actually hired by some people to Kill those people, his parents, and take their work for themselves. But before they could do it, his mom actually took one of the samples of the serum home with him and injected it into Billy. 
Now, during this, basically what they can do is make it to where all of this, basically, it was like dormant within him. And it explains a lot of how he can take so many hits and keep going. Make it to where, like, he can regenerate real fast, like, healing and stuff. And then what they can do is do this. Basically make it to where he can take the T-Virus and inject it into himself. Because he can heal so fast. Because he can heal so fast, it does not kill him. Basically. And then what they do is, he's basically, they clear his name. And, get, and then, what we find out is this is actually Blue Umbrella. And, basically, they clear his name. He starts working for them. There's a whole bunch of jobs. And meets somebody. It was on his team, female. Now, this is when it comes in again. What happens is, people show up because they find out that he's actually still alive. He is not really using his real name. He's actually using a different name. His agreement was nobody can see his face when he's at work nobody knows his real name and stuff like that what happened was is basically um they send wesker after him because he wants his regenerable his regeneration ability because remember wesker has to keep taking these shots or the virus that's in him will kill him and this is how you end it make it to where he had a son right okay Wesker, t Wesker and Billy fight. Wesker ends up winning the fight. But while he is fighting him, his son is actually 13. He's off. He's actually on a his, with his friends on a motorcycle and stuff like that. And what ends up happening is Wesker finds out that there is a kid of his, right? So... In order to make sure that kid does not make it out of that town alive or anywhere near anybody else. He actually decides to test a new virus that they were working on for a kiss from his company. Tell me what y'all think about that idea and if y'all would like it. Because I would love it if we could play as somebody besides an You know what I mean? Here's the thing. I want to see it like a different type of game. Like for an example, a survival open world game zombie game like Resident Evil because what you would have to do is this one keep you get food get water have shelter and also have stuff that heals you and stuff like that basically what happens is as the as more as he is um, put in these situations they can make it to where he actually had a near-death experience basically what happens is he is actually riding. They see somebody who thinks they need help. He goes up to him close. It actually bites him on his neck. And they, he gets him off of him, but not before he can. He bites him on his neck. The zombie does. And that near-death experience activates the viruses within his DNA. Which is the T-virus and that we that healing factor that Billy has. Like the, and I'm talking about not like... I ain't just talking about healing limbs and all that. I'm talking about if you cut off a hand or an arm, he can regenerate. The only way to kill Billy was to cut his head off. That's what I'm saying. So, I know this is a little bit graphic and stuff, but that's what I'm trying to say. Because here's the thing. We all want to know what happened to Billy. Why is he not in the game anymore? Why are they only focusing on Chris, Neon, and Claire? We need to have an old, more open audience, I feel, and see if, um, and yes, we are doing Dragon Ball Z next. Oh my. Okay, I gotta fix that. I know what the problem is. I'm pretty sure I know what the problem is. Hold on. Maybe it fixed itself? Nope. That's what I was trying to, that's what I was afraid of. I may have to do this in sections to where I gotta fix the graphics, then come back. Yep, it's at 720p for some reason. Why is it not going any further than that? Okay, 
we got a problem with that one. So, I ain't going to play that one. I'm not going to worry about that. All right, Dragon Ball Z, out of the question right now. It's having a little difficulty. So, uh, we'll move on to Mortal Kombat and play a little bit of it. Then we'll move on to Resident Evil 2. And then I will find another game for us to play and test this. And then we will move on to 1440p, 4K. So, I'm going to play a Mortal Kombat, a character. I'm going to play Scorpion and then play one, like do two match. I, uh, you know what, let's just go with, um, we'll go with, um, I'm trying to think how many matches. We'll just do one, just for us to see how good it, the um, graphics card does on 1080p. Now, this is usually what I play my games at, 1080p. Um, 60 frames per second. Now, I know it's a 1440p card. The reason I got the card is, one, I wanted to edit. At this time, I did not know NVIDIA cards were better at editing. I learned that after I already bought the card and it was too light. So, I made my bed and I'm going to lay in it. And the card, graphics card does good enough. It does really good for editing, for it being an AMD graphics card. People kept telling me, oh, no, it's not going to be that good. And, now, I actually... A friend of mine, I showed, I let them basically sit there and like, they wanted to see how long it took for this graphics card to edit a video. And by their account, they said it's pretty good at editing for it being an AMD graphics card. They used to be horribly bad at it. Now, I bet you probably with an AMD graphics card, you could probably edit a video maybe in three hours. But this one won't be done till tomorrow. Now, I got actually a surprise for you at the end. And no, it ain't just that giveaway of the, um... And, by the way, Scorpion's the man. Tell me if your favorite character in Mortal Kombat is Scorpion. Now, he isn't my favorite. He's actually my number two. My number one character is not in the game. Uh-oh. I'm not going to do that. I am not going to do that because, one, I do not want this game to get, um, I am basically to where it don't get way out a lot of um, people out there. I was about to do a fatality, but no, uh-uh. I am not getting you too mad. No. We'll play one more and then we'll move on. I'm sorry, Mortal Kombat is my favorite game and here's the thing. When I first put, started playing Mortal Kombat, it was on the GameCube, and... Here's, and me and my dad would, when my dad was off, and he was not working, we would play this game for hours, and as we played, I started learning, like, a lot of stuff from him, and he actually started teaching me a lot of tricks, like, and it used to weigh me, if you go back and play any other Mortal Kombat game, it's actually a lot more faster than this one. They decided to slow it down and get, try to get some more people into it. And I do like how they re rebooted the series and made it to where Scorpion is now back. But I would love it if they made it to where his son would make a return.
like I said, and getting them mad. So I do this real quick, and then, all right, I've, as soon as I can get out of the game, and let uh, I go play another game. Oh, what? Nope, it won't let me. So, got to let load, and then I will. Um, I know they're gonna be coming out with the other one with the superheroes, and my favorite game in that one is actually Batman. I really did like the Flash though when it was I think what DC versus um, Mortal Kombat or however that one was. I know a lot of people didn't like that Mortal Kombat game when it was like you know Mortal Kombat versus um, DC and all that. But I will say this: but Scorpion had one of the best disappearing moves out of all of them. That was my favorite. How you could actually keep it going in that game. Yeah, I'm just looking, seeing what I have, and he's um down. Okay, hold on. I am. Um, you know what? This will be our next game right after Resident Evil Two. Tomb Raider will be, because I know a lot of people like Tomb Raider, and I do too. I've watched both of the um, I watched the movie, and it was really good. The older one, I gotta remember what her name was in the movie, Jennifer Anderson or something like that, I think. But. Anyways, and then there was Mrs. and Mrs. Smith. I That was supposed to be like a continuation of it. I didn't like care too much for that one, but it was funny, you know. And there are many, so I bet you I'm in 4K. That's what I was afraid of. See, that's why I'm probably going to have to do this on sections because of that. This was actually a good idea to code to this one because now I will see if it's... No, it ain't in 4K. It's in something else. Let me see what happens when I, like, leave it in this one. Hold on, I'm drawing here. Yeah, I can hear the fans speed up. I'm, I don't think it likes it too much, but let me see. You can't still not see them. So we are going to have to do these in, um, we are going to have to do this in, like, once I get y'all back. Um, it don't look too bad in 1440p. So maybe, but no, no, I do it right. Hold on. Let me see how it looks in 1080 if they look any that different. To me, I cannot tell a difference between 1440p and 1080p. They don't look any littler to me. Hold on. No, they do. They do. They do. So, I'm going to have to do this all in sections. So, this is 1080p, and then I'll be back right here, here in a second with 1440p after I get the last game done. That's what I was afraid of. But, it proved my point, and I'm just showing y'all why I have to do this all in sections. And why I can't do this all in one video. Oh, come on. There it goes. There. Stay. <laughs> now, alright. So, the reason why I want to do this one is I want to show you what I play in. And then I just want to level it out. Well, I mean, level it all. Then I just want to, um, like, go up yeah, every notch. Now, here's the thing. The reason I cannot do this on my monitor. And I'm doing that one just for it to be... Relatively easy and I don't die. <laughs> the reason I can't do this on my monitor, it is a 1080p monitor, but it is not a 1440p or a 4K monitor. It has none of that, um, like, for help you any with screen tearing or any of that. But it is still a good, um, monitor. And if y'all want to know what the monitor I have over here, and I will show you what my TV is as well before this is all done. <clears throat> I hope that ain't gonna bite me in the butt, leaving it to those speakers. Like I can hear it twice, and if that does happen, I'm sorry. What I may try to do is isolate those two sounds and then cut the one out that is um the um, extra one. So after this one, we have to do Tomb Raider, and then I'm gonna find another game we can play. I'm hoping at least I should have at least three games for us to play. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that now. I got a lot of that, you know, I've seen what it could do with video play. Then I'm just gonna let um y'all 
this part play for a little bit. It's doing 60 frames per second, but that's what I got it locked on to. And that's why I wanted to do Resident Evil 2 is because you can have an unlimited frame rate if you wanted to, or you can lock it to a certain frame rate. And it's hitting that frame rate that it's locked to right now. So what do y'all say we um, put the frame rate at maximum? Basically, it don't have a locked frame rate. <clears throat> Oops, that's how you get it in close, right? Basically, wow, what they're wearing and all that. So, it's right down here. See how it says 60? That's starting, and then move it over. Boom, unlimited. And that's why I wanted to do this. I wanted to see what happens when we do that. Right there. I wanted to see if it could pass 60 frames with it like that. But, so far, it hasn't. I'm just going to let it do a little bit more. And okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure also that I um that I um it is working and I saved it because it should have stayed, but if it didn't, uh, now that explains why it didn't. Okay, oops, that's not the right one. That always does get me too, by the way. Sorry about that. There, now that's fixed. Okay, it did stay. So, see, I wish when you would hit circle on a lot of the games or exit or however you want to call it, is if they say, do you want to save this, yes or no? But when they just do that and they don't at, like, ask you that question, it kind of confuses me because I don't know if it stayed or not. So we missed all a little bit of a skip there since it ain't locked anymore. And this is a 4K um, TCL TV. It's got Roku built into it, and I like this TV. It's got a built-in soundbar, like I said. I will show you what um, what TV this is. I'm sorry, I got to. I'm not doing no speed run right now. I want to do the speed run. Um, so here in a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and X out of this right here in a second. I heard you. Um, my dad's awake, so I gotta let him come in here, so I'll be right, so, hold on one second, I did that by accident, I know, go this way, oh, and he's right there, well, that's bad, boom, throw him down, well, I got bit, <laughs> And that's another thing. If you get bit on, by the zombie, how did you get to the whole game? Uninfected. And it's kind of theoretically how you would think impossible not to get bit by how many zombies are there. Uh, and there could be behind any corner or anything like that. Sorry, that's one of my favorite parts. Right there. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this all done real quick. Um, my dad has to come in here and get his clothes. Okay, run. Uh, once I get to the police station, I'll go ahead and call it on this one because, like I said, you can see what my computer is doing. The reason I have all the thermals up there, that's for my peace of mind. And I do have the FPS and the GPU all up at the top. Um, that's really kind of for my peace of mind because I want to know what temps my computer um, graphics card is getting. Because, one, I just want to see how hot it's getting because how the case I have it in is pretty good with airflow. And so far, I'm only seeing 39C. Uh, no, wait, that's Fahrenheit, so, wait, no, that is C, okay, so, I like that, honestly, I do like how the, um, what do you call it, how, um, it's doing on temp, so it's doing really good, uh, 1080p on temp, of course it is, because it's usually a 1440p card, okay, so, let's quickly go over here. Hold 
on. I want to get to this one part right here, and then I'll call it, because I just want to get a little bit more of the game, more graphic, you know what I mean? And if you have a spot that I can go to where we can really test your court on Resident Evil 2, please tell me and I'll go there. Um, now, here's the thing. I will honestly say that Resident Evil 2 is one of my very favorite games. It's right up there with Resident Evil 4. And I'm hoping what they do at Resident Evil 4 is I heard they want to stay closer to this original um, storyline. And if they do that, what they need to do is they need to, one, fix the merchant, tell us how he got there, who he is, and two, tell us how this virus got out into this little town. And three... If Neon's going to get infected with the virus, do more with that. Make him hallucinate. Make it to where he has a fever. Make You know what I mean? Do more involvement with him having the virus within him. If you get what I'm saying. And, or make it to where he has powers. Or And that's a good way that they can make the merchant come, merchant come into the story. He was actually a scientist. He was behind the virus. Everything. And his people that he made, like basically his partners, took him, took it all over. Because one of them wanted to do this, and he went against it, and he was um, the um, shareholder, so they couldn't do nothing about it. So they tried to kill him off. And then what happens is, out through the story, he is hiding, stuff like that. He sees Neon come into the, you know, town with those two police officers. Then he has the idea to infect Neon with the virus that he made by... And here's the thing. The virus that he infects Neon with is nowhere near as strong as theirs. Basically, what it does is it can make him heal a little bit faster and make him have some suit. Like, like he's only 10% stronger than other humans. And he is, like, I'd say at least 15% faster than everybody. And that's what I'll do. And then what you can do with the merchant is make it to where... You can upgrade your guns and upgrade Neon. Make him have better powers. Make his powers stronger. Tell me what you think about this in the comments if you like that idea. Alright, please girls and guys have a nice day. I will be back here in a second. I'm just going to go ahead and stick to these games. And except Dragon Ball Z. It didn't want to work right, so y'all saw that. And I'll be back with 1440p on all of them. And I will let you see me change it. Please give me a minute. Let my dad come in here and get dressed. Girls and guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, girls and guys, we are back. We're going to now go ahead and start doing 1440p. In order for us to do that, I'm going to go ahead and make these numbers a little bit bigger. This right here. This is how you do it. And hold on. Uh, it's really not that easy to do. There it goes. Okay. Especially when it's so small that you can't see it that well. I'm hoping I didn't make these numbers too big. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start back out on Resident Evil um, 0. And then we will work all the way back into Resident You know, all the way back to the last one, which was Resident Evil 2. Ah, uh, there's my controller. Okay, don't worry. We will fix this. It should not be like this. Once I go into 1440p on this game, it, you see it all the way down the screen right now. But once I go into 1440p, it should fix itself. Hopefully, it's like not too much. I wish I could do this. I could have done that a little bit better, but hold on. 1440p. Here we go. Are they too big? Yes. Or no. Perfect. Yes. I'm calling that. That's perfect. And that was just my cup. It fell. Nothing was in it. Just on the same table as the microphone. So I nailed that right there. Somebody has to give me a thumbs up or a clap for that one. Because I was right on the money of being it being perfect. Not too much. Not too little. Y'all should be able to see that. It did drop it down. Two. I am going to just do new game if it does accidentally if it does ruin my save one then oh well i fixed it you know what i mean i am not going to go into that i am going to let y'all see a little bit of this right here the video of this not as much because 
we did upscale it and as you can see every oh wow it didn't do it since I skipped that oh I'm so sorry about that by the way I didn't I didn't think it would do that uh, I need to find it in my mouse but um, I am actually playing the new using the new this is officer chambers from stars Bravo team please identify yourself is someone there the I give you, you know what I mean? I skipped past the very first one, so. Now, here's the thing. I have not tried to adjust it. I haven't tried to do like a mixture setting of high and low. I mean, of high and um, medium. I did it all on high because I wanted to see what the limit of it really was. That's you. Now, she'll do another cutscene right here in a second. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and move, move into this, like, you know, back here again. And then once we do get done with the dogs and all that, then we're gonna cut it there and move on to the next game. Um, now remember, I am putting a random, uh, um, random, uh, basically it came with the controller. It's a um, card for um, Xbox Game Pass. And I will be putting that card up in the, the video somewhere. So, that is going to be like my very first giveaway. It came with the controller. I really don't have no reason of getting Xbox Game Pass. I did a review on it. I liked it. I like the idea of it. All they need to do is just kind of focus on some more games. But most of them I had, so you know what I mean? But we'll see how good it gets. And I can actually tell that the colors are actually a lot better. Like the coat, like the um, clothes, the skin, and all that. Like their details look a little bit better. The um, wall behind you, it's more clear. And it's got a better like color to it. So I can see tiny little bits of detail that like his... Um, for an example, the blue oh, jeans, they actually have a better blue color to them. Wait, you're under arrest. No thanks, dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. And the handcuffs have more detail as well. But here's my problem with 14 with 4K. Your eyes can only pick up so much detail until it's useless. Edward, are you alright? Your what eyes have a limited amount of detail that they can pick up. Um, and I do actually need to tell you something. This is actually one week after the very first video. The reason being is because I had a lot of problems and I still had to iron out all those problems. That's there. I love that sound out there. The sound that that gun makes, I think that was the... Perfect, right there. I wish they could bring that kind of sound back to the um, newer ones because that was really, I always liked that sound when I was playing this on the GameCube version. Oh my goodness. The game, this is so, so much better. It's like, you know, it looked pretty good on the um, GameCube. Uh, you know what I mean? Yes, I did say I would play Tomb Raider. Um, I guess I could go ahead and throw that in even though I didn't do it in 1080p yet. I will go and just... I'm so I really can't I don't no no I won't do that because I really am just trying to just like give you an idea of how good the um um graphics card is in 1440p and 4K and I'm pretty sh sure these games do that now 
Um, the reason, like I said, I did, the reason I, um, put, um, Resident Evil 2 in here is because you can take it in the, okay, you can make it to Rare. It doesn't have a locked frame rate, and it was free to roam how much it wanted. And now, I don't know about Mortal Kombat. Please don't. And, by the way, it cannot feed off my other computer. Um, my other gaming computer... Basically, it's my movie computer now. It's off. It's unplugged. It's off. The reason being is we actually stole its HDMI cord for us to do this video. So, it's off. It is not on. Nothing of it. So, we are completely feeding off of my own computer. <clears throat> and I'll just go in and throw that in real quick just to let y'all see it on my um, video camera. And that'll be that. So I'm hoping y'all like this video. I'm hoping y'all now can see what my computer can do. Like I said, I will go ahead and show you. Man, I forgot. I did not download CPZ. I I knew I was forgetting something. That is actually pretty cool. And I like that. That's really cool too. Kronika can restore your family and clan. The sun's the one who killed them. But first, you must renounce your vengeance. I actually can see a lot better detail in the background. Um, now, like I said, if anybody wants to send me a 1440p monitor, 4K monitor, full meter review, I will do it. I will review it, but I want to review it in, like, basically on my own opinion. If I like it, if I don't like something about it, I can say it. I can't, like, sugarcoat it. And I'm not saying this monitor has to be perfect and everything like that. This monitor ain't perfect. Far from it. It only has one VGA import and one HDMI import. So yes, I could plug my movie computer in to it like I used to have it. But I don't do that anymore because I just, it was a waste and I didn't really like it that way. I am probably going to end up plugging that movie, my movie computer back into my monitor when I redo it. But other than that, nah. And one more thing. We are also going to be taking my graphics card apart, my 950, and redoing the thermal paste and seeing if we can get better thermals on it. So what I would probably do is a video before we redo the thermal paste and then a video after of how much they, you know, went down and stuff. Because that graphics card is really old. I think I bought the computer in 2016, 2015, and it's now 2021. Don't get me wrong, I do clean it. I air it out and stuff like that every three months, but the thermal paste, I have not done yet. Oh, it's already over. I'm sorry, uh, I get lost into the game, like... And a lot of Mortal Kombat is actually muscle memory. But I, and here's the thing. Like I said, when they were like, when it was like, I think, Mortal Kombat like, versus DC. I know a lot of people didn't like that one. I liked it only for one reason. And that was because of how I liked um, Scorpion's disappearing move. And I hope y'all really do enjoy the video and stuff like that. And I will be trying to do different things. Tell me if y'all want me to go back to, like, um, the video series where I um, play video games. And I, like, go through it and I play the whole game and stuff. You know. But because if y'all want me to finish um, Dying Light and... Uh, what? 
Hold on. If they block a lot... Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and, and I will be doing a review on the controller I'm using right now, which is the new Xbox Blue one. I will show you in the very beginning of this video. Um, once I do the review on it, there are some things I already don't like about the controller, and there's some, but it's not big things. They're really tiny and not that big of a problem, really. Mostly, the controller is really good and balanced. There's just a couple of things I want to go over and ask them if it's possible. And here's another thing. Microsoft, if you see this video, if you would, um, I would love to talk to you about your controller and about what, I have an idea of what they can do and stuff like that. Now, I don't know if they do it or not, and I don't even know this. If y'all know this, tell me if the newer controllers are, you can customize them like you can the older Xbox controllers because I don't know. Because I would love to switch out the um, V pad in the controller sticks with the magnetic ones where I can change it up for certain games. And I would also like to make it to where I have um, those paddles on the back. And um, the one big thing is I like it when I can, um, I have, um, what are they, trigger stops. They help out a lot. But if they don't do it, I still got that red one, so I can still upgrade it. It's the I call it the um, Scarlet controller. It's a uh, red Xbox controller I found used, and it needs a rebuild because buttons are sticking on it. And when I do a rebuild, I'm just going to basically I'm basically just going to. Um, Tell me what that's from if y'all know. I'll be back. It's, you know, it's kind of obvious, but hey. And yes, I did a fatality. But, and I will say this. The, um, when they came back with, um, what is it? I gotta remember that movie. Um. It's with, um, Skynet and all that. I gotta remember what it's called. I cannot think of it right now, but when they came back with it, it was really good. I give it. I give them that. I like how they changed the um, storyline to it being a different um, computer this time. I do know this. They are probably gonna bring back. Um, um, I'm hoping they bring back this one part. I gotta remember what his name is. Um, I am recording right now. Uh huh. That was my mom. Nothing. I was just telling him that was you. That was just my mom. I forgot to tell her. It was, that was all me. Um, my dad is. My dad's physical therapy is going good. He did go back to work. Um, and I'm really glad he's back and he's I'm um, doing okay for now. I just hope. Um, and there is one problem. We may have to have surgery on his other hip. He's already saying it's hurt like the um, one before it. So I don't know what's wrong with that other one. So if we got to repeat this whole process, this whole process again, it better be at least two years, maybe half, like a year and a half, because 
This, I had to actually put my dad's shoes on, and I do not like feet. I don't like anybody else's feet. And let me put it this way. After I, I put my, I took rubbing alcohol, I done germ mixture before that, and put it on my hands and washed them. But, we all do stuff we don't like to do constantly when we're in life. Like, for an example, how many of y'all like to go mow the yard? I don't, especially when it's hot. When my dad first um, got to the slum or he bought it um, brand new, the, um, he don't know why the headlights stopped working. It's probably just a battery, but he would actually go out there and mow it, like, when it was getting dark. Like, because, he, or he would do it, like, real early in the morning. Because he didn't like it doing it during the daytime because it was so hot outside. And it was actually more of a humidity than anything it was. Oh, she getting low, but... Okay, fan stop. But... I know I'm just talking your heads off. You're going, oh my goodness. You know? <laughs> but I'm hoping you get an idea. And um, I will go ahead and put in this video the graphics card that this is. The box, basically. I know. I've played a lot of people now. I better start going. i got to move on. I know. Now we are going to go ahead and go to the next game. I kind of got absorbed into the game, I admit. I forgot. And, you know, that's just one of my favorite games. And the reason it's one of my favorite games, I have so many memories playing my dad on Mortal Kombat. And, I mean, those memories are always going to be with you. They're never, you know what I mean? Basically, things go, things change. But those memories you make will always be the same. And when I was playing there, I just thought back to when I was a kid. And I was like five, maybe. Yeah, I had to be at least five. When we got the very first Mortal Kombat, how when we had a face Quan Chi and that one other guy at the end. I mean, here's the thing. I liked Mortal Kombat. Even though I could not get any of the special moves off like I can now. Still a great game. Still a good game. And now I'm just glad I can get those moves off. And the biggest problem I had was on the GameCube, it was how the, um, what do you call it, the D-pad was. And I just never could get it right. I could never just get it not timing it right. You know, anything. At most, what I could do was, why is this thing not letting me do anything? Hold on, what's going on over here? This thing is glitching out or something. There it goes. Okay. I know. I gotta go fix it. Now, the reason I didn't fix it, for some reason, it's wanting me to do it this way. So, let me go ahead and X out. And then I'll get back into it. Try to fix it. For some reason, it's wanting me to play it on keyboard and mouse. <clears throat> <clears throat> And I don't know why, you know. But I try to get it to work, you know. Uh, this it just worked a minute ago. I don't know what I did. My controller is plugged in directly. It ain't by batteries or anything like that. So, uh, we're good. I thought. Let me see. Oh, I bet you I know what I did. Let me see. No, it ain't. Okay, there it goes. Hold on. Is it because of the mouse? Hold on. 
Oh, now it's letting me. I think the mouse was moving, and that's what was doing it. I don't know what it was, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'll worry about that later. We'll just go up to 1440p, which is right there. And then that will fix it. See how why I had to do this in steps. I'm showing you why I did this, how I did it. Because of what was changing. New game. We're going to go all the way to where, um, at the gas station. That should have been new game. I thought I hit new game. It's kind of hard to see it behind all those numbers, but I'm pretty sure I did that right. Yes, I did. 60 frames per second at 1440p. That ain't shocking because this is a 1440p graphics card. So, yeah, it's doing really good. Now, I will be finishing this video up over on my monitor and stuff like that. Telling y'all a few things and a few ideas I have and what's going to be able, what's about change. Uh, we're going to go ahead and stop that there and go ahead and move on to him. The reason I'm cutting him a little bit shorter is because of how long the video is. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Windshield cut. Go. Is because of, um, uh, how long the video is and stuff like that. And I like I said, I will be putting that Hello? Xbox Game Pass code somewhere in this game. Somewhere in these games. It'll be on one of the games. And don't think just because I like Mortal Kombat, all of, all of them, it'll be in there. It ain't going to be at Mortal Kombat, I'm telling you. Because that's the first place y'all going to check if y'all try to the game skip or whatever. And... Trust me, I am going to make sure that this is incredibly difficult to find. So the easiest way to find the gift card, basically for Xbox Game Pass, is just to watch the whole video and find it. I will make sure. Because I like it, how hard is it, you know, like I said. And I do like how they did it on, um, okay. Here's another one. Uh, this is for Microsoft. On, um, on Resident Evil games, make sure the two bottom triggers are your aim and shoot. Because they're ten times easier to grab with your two fingers at the front than the top triggers on your controller. Now, Xbox, that is something I wish you could work, look into, is making it to where you can hit the top triggers on your Xbox controller a little bit easier because it's kind of difficult. You know what I mean? And it's just, and that's on any Xbox controller. It's just not, and it's just not the new Xbox controllers. It's on all of them. From their Pro, all of them. But the reason I like them so much better is because of how their thumbsticks are spaced apart. And my thumbs don't hit each other. When they would do that sometimes, they would actually go inside like their nail and go underneath. Basically, sometimes I'd hit my two thumbs. All right. Basically, when I when I'd go to school, I bit I I bite my nails a lot because when I get nervous, I bite my nails, and I used to bite them too short when I was a kid, and I'd have band aids on them, and they'd hit, and it would hurt, and that was because at my school it was basically horrible to me because here's the thing: I had autism when I was in school to school, and I started school in the two thousands. It was maybe 2000 and uh, I don't know. It was in the 2000s and nobody knew about what I had and the um, teachers just thought I would, didn't want to do my work on purpose. And I failed a lot of, I failed at least kindergarten three times and they just didn't know what was wrong with me, the truth is. And I mean, it wasn't my fault. They didn't know. The station. And a lot of kids made fun of me, stuff like that, and that's why I'd bite my nails. And my mom did try to help me, but every time she did, it backfired so badly and it made my life worse. When we finally moved to where I'm at now and started this school, now this teacher, I'm going to give her the name Ray. That's all I'm giving you, right? 
I'm not, that ain't her name either. That is not her name either. I'm just going to say Ray for, you're like, you know, that's what I'm going to call her. Because here's the thing. She got me out of my shell. She started actually teaching me. I did not know how to put my, um, my, um, spelling words in ABC order or anything. She started actually helping me, teaching me how to put them in ABC order, how to do all my ABCs for crying out loud. All of it. And when that finally started happening, I finally actually started feeling a lot better about going to school. It was a lot better, you know? And I can't thank her enough. Because she went beyond her job in what she was supposed to do for, you know, helping me and stuff. And I can't thank her enough. And now she is actually in the army, which I hope she is okay and she is safe. I need to get, I need to see if I can find, what, if I was to ever go back up to the school for any reason, like, because, <clears throat> I mean, if I was to ever run into one of my old teachers, what I'm trying to say, I would ask him if she's okay, Jesus. stuff like that. Open and the last time I heard, she was doing fine. Open this goddamn door. Okay, I gotta admit. Okay, that's good enough. We will shoot this guy in the head. I do gotta admit one thing. The sticks on here are really more accurate because it takes more for you to move them. They're not as easy to move as the older Xbox um, controllers. They're a lot more accurate. I will say that because it takes a lot more force to move the Xbox Um the Xbox thumbsticks on here because see what I mean and boom I mean the Xbox thumbsticks are a lot more accurate I do like how they did that how they made it more stiffer to where you would have to put more behind it I gotta say that is a good thing um I do like that I'm just pointing that out I will go ahead and leave this Xbox um controller in the uh below or a link to it basically if you want to pick it up now i'm pretty sure it will work with your xbox regular control your regular xbox and stuff like that oh one thing it does not come with a c cord you must buy your own um type c cord for the controller and if you ain't got one you can just use the batteries it comes with for right now and just bluetooth it to your xbox or your computer if you got the dongle I don't, so I can't do that. I forgot about that. So, I have to use wire, but I'm okay with that because of how my setup is. You know, I'm not that far from my computer. So, where... Okay, we went through there, and now we gotta find the other one. Oh, that is all three. <laughs> okay, well, that was 1080p, so give me a minute. I'll go ahead and go down the 4K. This is now the 4K one. So, I'll be right back girls and guys and I'm hoping y'all enjoying this video because it actually took me one whole week to figure this all out because I thought it was simple as um, putting it all over here it is not if y'all want me to teach y'all a trick I'm going to be uploading two videos to my TikTok of the problems I had with doing this on my TV with OBS and I will show you what they are. So please, girls and guys, if you watch me on my TikTok, be aware of those two videos. What is going on, girls and guys, on YouTube? So, I got a little bit of bad news. And some good news. Good news is, um, I got to record Resident Evil Zero at 4K. Bad news. Resident Evil 2 in Mortal Kombat did not record at 4K. Somehow it froze on OBS, but you could hear the sound behind it. I'm just going to put a little bit of a piece of it in there for y'all to see what OBS did. So, But the good news is it worked on 1080p and 1440p. All that good. So, girls and guys, I will see you on the next one. I am not going to edit the video tonight. I'm going to let my computer here rest, cool down, 
You know what I mean? Give it a break. So please, girls and guys, have a nice night. And I'll see you in the next one. And I am sorry about that. But I will be putting a little bit of a clip in there for you to see where it froze at and stuff like that. And don't forget, I am going to be sneaking a peek of a um, Xbox Game Pass card I got with the Xbox controller. Now, I am going to put a link to this controller right here. Because I like it. I really do. It's an overall good controller. Eventually, I will be doing a review on it. You can actually see it right there in the back corner up by my shoulder. On my white table. Now, that is actually the cup you heard it fell over. Don't worry. Nothing was in it. We're good. <laughs> so, I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Okay, girls and guys. We are back again. Now, we're doing 4K. Yes. I already went into Resident Evil 0 just to switch it up to 4K. Just to make my, um, well, you could see see what numbers I had basically this right here I had to make sure that those for y'all to be able to see it so what we are going to be doing is this is the last part of the video same three games all of it now the reason I am doing this is I'm wanting to see what the limitations of my computer is for one and two this is going to be like one of my very first 4k videos and it's going to be one of my very first giveaways all in one. And the reason I'm doing this is because one, I got that um, game pa Xbox Game Pass with this controller. I didn't really want it. Zero. You know, like I said, I have most of the games that they have in there. Besides this one, it's this one survival game. I am going to skip that again. I just want to get to the gameplay, the actual gameplay. Right now it's around 24 FPS. It's at the very bottom. Uh, let's see if we it moves up or down or whatever it does. But, like I said, I am going to be trying to put this all the way up in 4K. Um, and if you watch this all the way in 4K, please tell me what this you think, how good I did, and, brothers. you know, stuff I need to change. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? I gotta move that mouse. I know. What just happened? I, I thought they were dead. Okay, here's the thing. Yes, it is a 120 FPS, but it's like not. It's smooth. That's all I'm gonna say. You really can't see no skips or anything. And I know some people would probably say this is not playable, but I think it. Uh, to me, it is. I can play this all day long at 4K. Here's the thing. This is what I say. If you need more FPS, like how fast the game is and stuff like that, or you can go with looks over your FPS. Now, here's the thing. If this was at least hitting 30 frames per second at like a console level, I'd keep it at 4K. But I know, or I could probably do like a mixture of four, like some things low and some things high on 4K to get more FPS, or... I can drop it down to 1440p because honestly I can't tell too much of a difference like when I jumped it up to 1440p I could see a tiny bit of differences like in the colors and stuff like that they were more out there they were better and stuff like that and I could see like the background like the wall he's behind like that um, shade I can see a lot more detail yes in 1440p but this I can't see really? too much more detail I'm hoping the Stonewall microphone can see so, hear all this because I'm a little bit why sitting back fantasizing about me have you you were the prisoner that was being transferred for execution you were with those soldiers outside oh I see you were stuck and the reason I'm talking through that is because the first time if you remember I didn't do it and if they accidentally hit you in this hallway, 
what is it? How do you... There it is. That used to be so difficult when I was on the GameCube. Now, I remind you, I was only five, maybe. Yeah, I was five when I started playing this, actually. It was one of my very first games after Mortal Kombat, and it was like, I think, yeah, it was close to when I, no, 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 no. I don't think this was a, um, no, this wasn't a Christmas release, I'm pretty sure, but it may have been a, um, like, a f little bit after it came out. Um, what I would really like to see is the, an anime come out of this. And you're going... This is Rebecca. Over. Enrico! Hello! Can you read me? Please respond. Um, like I was saying, I usually, I'm on, like, my level of, um, playable is around 30 FPS. If it's, if the constant, like, it stays almost like how this one is at, um, 24 FPS. Now, it ain't too much away from 30, so I'm pretty sure with a few, uh, minor tweaks, I could get it to 30 FPS. But I wanted to do high settings in all of them and to see what numbers what numbers we came out with. And I'm hoping you like this video because it took me a whole week to figure out all the problems that I had with it up on my TV. Please, girls and guys, have a very, very, very nice day and a nice week. I will be seeing you on the next one. Don't worry, I'm just saying this because these are the last of them. Listen, little girl. I'm going to go and cut that short again because we're going to go and hit, go down the quit. Then we're going to go to the next one. And the only reason I'm saying you have a nice day is because after I'm through, I'm just going to cut it and that's it. Okay, so, oh my goodness. And, if, and I will be putting a link to this mouse down in the corner of this video. I mean, not the mouse, but the um, controller. Because it's a really nice controller. I really like the color scheme. And I'm hoping I can do upgrades to the controller. Like I said, I want to do the, um, the, um, ma um, uh, the paddles on the back. And I want to do the magnetic, um, D-pad and the, um, thumbsticks. And if I could, I really want to try to find some clickier buttons for the X, Y, and B button. I had the Razor controller, but it actually broke on me. And these buttons, they were like mechanical, like the um, A, X, Y, and B button, like were mechanical, and they had this like little switch, like a mouse does, they're like this. They are switches, like there are buttons like this. Like that. And, uh, okay. Anyways, Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I was wanting. And I'm hoping eventually they come out with um, a button replacement kit. You can do that with, with like mechanical switches and stuff like that. Oh man, I forgot to put this in 4K. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that. I'm going to skip this one. And then I'm going to have to go back to it. Sorry. Uh, okay.
okay, if you see an edit, it's because I accidentally forgot to upscale this. I mean, not upscale it, but put this in 4K. And I'm sorry about that. So if you see some kind of jump, it was just because I forgot to put this in 4K and I accidentally went into the game instead. So please, I'm sorry about that. Oh, she's speeding up. If you can hear those fans. Ooh, she's like a little rocket ship right now. Alrighty. Like I said, I edited it. Uh, the reason I'm starting back off here is because I went ahead and I accidentally forgot. I couldn't. I didn't put it in 4K, so I had to go. I went and edited all that out. So, we are now in 4K. Um... I already showed you me switching it over and all that, but if y'all want to see it again, options, where are they? Right there, options. I could have done it this way. I just didn't think of it. I, I, see right there. Uh, right there, 4K. So, we are in that, and the reason I'm using a controller is I'm up on my TV, and, you know, I can't really have a mouse and keyboard set up because I ain't got... A big enough table to do that. I did play this game on mouse and keyboard and it was fun. I liked it because you could actually have more accuracy with your mouse and that's why I did it but there are some Resident Evil games like Resident Evil Zero it's better to play on controller because of the tank the um, tank controls there. We didn't have to do no fixing it on 1440p and 1080 because it looked good and you know good enough. Uh. Alright, we reached. Alright, hold on. Right there. Okay, so if we go any further, it's not. It's worse. Okay. Yes. What I do is I either wait to go all the way to its limit, which would be um, with us playing people online. I don't know um, the um, like new consoles or if I get the new console. What is going on, girls and guys on YouTube? So, I just want you to know that this is why I'm editing this in. Um, I'm do editing this video the next day because I want to give my computer a break. Because we kind of pushed it up there on the computer, up on the TV. So, <clears throat> I just want you to know why it's a little bit light. And another thing, I will be trying to edit this in 4K. If I cannot do 4K, I will drop down to 1440p. And if I can't do that, I just go back to 1080. But it should be at least be able to do 1440p. i never done a 4K video. So, I don't know how long this video is going to take to edit. So please, girls and guys, um, if it's a long time, I may have to drop my videos down to two a day. So please tell me, do you want me to do, start doing this in 4K, editing it, or do you want me to just keep it at 1080p and do a video every other day? Or you want me just to drop it down to two videos a day? Um, and another thing, drop some comments down below and tell me what you want to see more on the channel because... I don't know what you want me to see, what you want to see more of. I don't know if you want me to play more games. I don't know if you want me to play, you know what I mean? I don't know if you want me to do more reviews. So please tell me what you want to do, what you want me to see more on this channel down below. And another thing, please give me a like on the video if you did like it. And if you did not, please tell me why. That way I can either fix it or make it minor. And the reason why I'm saying give me a like is because... YouTube doesn't really like to promote my videos that much, and that would help it out. So please, girls and guys, have a nice day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.